Hello guys, welcome to a new video and in this video I will be showing you how you can be using .env files in your node project very easily and in details I will be explaining you but I need one support from you that is uh, we are approaching right now 3k and uh, my expectation is that you will help me so that we will reach 5k to our community we will make and share the knowledge to the Indian free of cost actually I have also not enabled any ad because I need to provide the education the coding related videos free of cost to everyone that's why I have still now also not enabled the ads so support me like this let's start the video learning the new package that is known as .env you can see here the number of downloads that is nearly about 3 crore 77 lakhs and 90,000 downloads is there which is a weekly download so you can trust this package and I will show how you can use this so let me create a node project so for that I will just write npm in it and minus y I will give so that it will initialize the node project for me and once it is initialized you can see the package.json is created so I need one package that is .env and installation you can see it here this is the command which you can take copy it from here and simply in your terminal you can test and if you don't know how to open the terminal here is the process you can click on the three dot and terminal then new terminal okay so you can see a node module is created if you are already have an existing project then don't worry just you need to install this package that is npm install dot env and once it is installed what you need to write you need to create a file that is dot env files where all your imported data will be there important data that means what like your api keys or a, uh, when you are doing any kind of transactional application or a subscription basic application you are making at that time you need to store your very much private keys here in the dot env file and try to keep this dot env in the git ignore so that it must not be shared to the public okay so this is a major point which you need to have so if you don't know how to use the git ignore i'll be making a video on that you can see that okay so dot env is for storing all our secret data let us assume we have an api and api keys there and try to make every time capital letter things uh, means capital letter variable names okay and then give a equal to and if you have a number you can directly write the number and if you have a string so you can simply use a double quote and you can add any kind of string so let us assume api key is not there i'm just using some random uh, text you can use your own api key passwords or anything you can store it here okay then i will be creating an index file if you have existing file you can do on that but note one thing this will this does not say it by this thing but i will tell that is not said by any of the youtubers that in if you are working on a project and you are trying to use the dot env try to keep it at topmost level and in your main file that is index file don't if you have a multiple chain of files every time keep it in the most parent or the topmost element keep it in the top line you need to write require then dot env then config and it is a function then what you need you just need to use that env but before that i just need to show you one thing if you don't know what is process you can console log process process is something like in our system there are a lot of things are running right now we are in development mode or a production mode and what is our configuration of windows a lot of things are there okay if you're using mac what is the configurations so all that things are contained inside the process if you are not even using the dot env then also process object is there in the node.js okay so what you need to do process.env when you will write at that time all the env data env for form is environment all the environment related data will be there if you need to console log and you want to see let me write node and then the file name that is index.js you can see a lot of data are there okay but what we need we need that this env data will be there okay so what is the name the name is api key so for that we just need to give a dot and then write the name of that particular thing and note one more thing if you are using a multi-level of files okay don't worry that you need to give a relative path or absolute path don't worry about it just write process.env and whatever the variable name you made and try to make it in capital case and if it is a bigger name try to use underscores okay so if you are using like this in any of the file it will come but at the topmost file you need to import this like this okay let me run node and then the file name you can see the text is here so you can get all the data what you are storing here and you can get it inside the main file or any of the file if this video is interesting and you understood my concept what i taught then please subscribe the channel like this video and share with your friend that's all for today guys thank you